Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking you through every stage I went through to create this, my first darker skinned freeborn baby. Remember, if you like this video, please give it a like and if you want to see more from me, then subscribe. The first time I attempted to paint this baby, I used the primary method, which is where you layer yellow, red and blue washes over and over again. And that is how I create my white skin babies. However, it's much harder to achieve a deeper skin tone when you are using that method. I learned this the hard way and I got maybe 40 layers in and the baby still looked incredibly tan and I realised I had done the lips way too red. I also got very impatient with this doll, so when I was painting I stopped getting all the lint and dust out, which meant that unfortunately all of that got into the paintwork and just made it really messy and I'm a perfectionist, I was not happy with it, so I decided to start again. This led to me stripping the entirety of the doll, so the head and the limbs. I really struggled with stripping this kit. I think because I had put so much paint on, it was so difficult. I couldn't get the limbs completely clean as I wanted them. And I spent probably half an hour to 40 minutes just doing the head. I also used special care nursery paints at the start. And then when I switched over and did this baby again, I used waterborne paints, which I prefer using. It's just a personal preference. I found them much easier to work with. I posted about making my first darker skin baby on TikTok and I received thousands of hate comments about it. So I actually then stepped away for about two months and didn't do anything else to this doll. It can be really overwhelming to receive a huge amount of hate and I just struggled to get the inspiration to paint again. I do think my dolls turn out so much better when I feel inspired around them. And so the next time I came back to this baby, I came back with a fresh mindset and obviously I think she's turned out much better. So for this second attempt, I used brown washes. So rather than doing three separate washes, I combined my red, yellow and blue paints in fairly equal amounts, but I think I varied them slightly. And I added layer after layer of that brown paint. I also specifically made her darker around the edges of the face and tried to keep the centre of the face nice and bright. I also spoke to some artists that specialise in darker skin tones and they said to do as much detailing on this baby as I would do on my white babies. So I did include some texture on the cheeks. I think for my next one I won't do that but I think she still turned out cute. At this point I realised that I had made the lips too dark but it's really really hard to take away from the lips once you've added on so I just persevered and I know that for next time I'll be looking at trying to make a lighter pink lip. I then posted about her on TikTok and YouTube again and got even more feedback. Got a lot of hate on TikTok, YouTube was a lot more constructive with their comments. Thank you for that if you were one of them. And you guys recommended that I make the ears darker and around the mouth area. So I did that and it definitely made a big difference. I also painted her eyebrows. So she's got dark brown eyebrows and I painted the area around the edge of the face where there was going to be hair. I then sealed her and used my Liquitex gel matte medium to add skin texture. And after that, I added varnish. I use Americana Ultra Matte Varnish and I pounced that on and then in between layers I added some peach fuzz that I had. These are really really fine little hairs and I added them particularly around the ears and edges of the face. Once that had all set and dried I did my rooting. Now for this baby I wanted her to have a thicker head of hair so I didn't mono root which is where you put one hair in at a time. For most of this head I have rooted to have two to three hairs per hole. I also used a mix of two different dark brown colours. Now I've had a lot of comments asking why I didn't use curly hair or black hair so I wanted to address that here. Firstly I have really struggled to find curly hair like curly mohair or alpaca hair um, particularly in like the really tight um, curls that I think people are thinking of. 
And I've never rooted with curly hair and I'm very concerned that I'm just going to mess that up completely because I'm worried that you have to keep all of the curls going in a particular way, otherwise it's just going to look like a mess. So I'm not 100% sure how that's going to go, but I will try and find some for the next darker skin rebound I'm making. Also when I googled and looked at reference pictures online, a lot of black babies and darker skin babies seem to be born with straight hair so I didn't think it was an issue that she would have straight hair. And then the reason I didn't use black hair, well if you look at the reborn community as a whole you actually won't see very many black haired babies. And that is because mohair or alpaca hair has to be dyed to create that black colour. And a lot of people that make the black hair say that it can't be wet otherwise the dye from the hair might transfer onto the head of the reborn. Obviously that would ruin the reborn. <laughs> and when you're rooting you use a lot of water to keep the hair styled and in place. After I had rooted the hair I gave her a little haircut to make it look pretty. I also rooted her eyelashes which I think are really pretty. I always find that adding eyelashes to a doll really makes them come to life. And then I assembled her so I added the cuddle body that I had bought. Now I got this cuddle body from Etsy and they had a few different colours so I went for the dark brown colour. I have a whole other video about how I weighted and assembled this cuddle baby if you are interested in seeing that. And then once I have assembled her I dressed her all up and I think she's just gorgeous. Now if I can bear to part with this baby I will be listing her on reborns.com forward slash reborns of Jess which is where I sell all of my babies. I hope you found this video interesting as I said if you enjoyed it please consider leaving a like and I will hopefully see you next time.